my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about where should affiliate marketers grow your audience if you're an affiliate marketer if you're trying to sell a course or you're trying to sell somebody else's course obviously as an affiliate marketer you've got other people's products to sell so where do you grow your audience what's the best place to grow your audience and why do you even need an audience we're going to kind of get into all those things and talk about the different places where you can grow your audience and I'm going to kind of show you what I've done over the over the last few years but before we do that first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so your audience is who is paying attention to you right who is there who are you trying to attract and why do you need an audience when we talk about audiences we're talking about the people that are out there that you're gonna be able to sell to right I mean obviously your audience can be people interested in stuff you have to sell and the thing is that as an affiliate marketer when you first get started you're probably focusing on trying to sell stuff right trying to tell people about your amazing thing about this great product you have about this great opportunity all these different things but that isn't how you're going to get some sales at least you might get a few and it's a numbers game and you can do a ton of stuff ton of promotions ton of sales ton of uh, ads I mean and uh, get a few sales and you know if it, it scales and if you have the money whatever but if you really want to crush it without spending crazy amount of time crazy amount of money there's another way and we're going to talk about that and before we get into that though uh, I want to make sure that if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video you're going to find the video at cis377.jsgagnon.com where you're going to see the video and the blog post on how on where should affiliate marketers grow their audience right all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen I'm going to kind of show you what I'm talking about when I talk about audiences all right so where should you be building your audience right should, should you be building a crazy list of connections on LinkedIn I mean I have 16,000 should you be doing it on Facebook I got 4,000 friends should you be building a, a you know subscribers and hundreds of subscribers on channel should you be building followers on TikTok and I uh, sorry Twitter should you be growing followers on Instagram should you be doing it on TikTok should you be doing it uh in an email list right so all these places all have different ways of building an audience now one of the things that lots of marketers talk about is the difference between you know ha having page likes on Facebook friends on Facebook followers on Instagram followers on TikTok um email list subscribers all these different things all have different value the thing is that if you're not creating content on those platforms all the time then you're not going to really grow I mean I have 16,000 connections here but to be to be all frank how many of these people even see some of the stuff I post right and I don't post a lot on in on on LinkedIn TikTok I post you know uh, once in a while as you can see I've got 3,000 4,000 uh views I've got 200 views on some of the old other videos here I don't know why this one has zero why does it have zero oh it's it's uh I guess it got uh it's private I wonder why anyways probably uh they there must have been a violation right <laughs> anyways whatever um uh what else I mean um on in on Instagram I've got 4,000 followers certainly if you have followers on Instagram you're going to want to uh, post on Instagram if I look at the reels I have on there right uh you get the thousand views uh just 20 views a few views right to 1000 views here so I'm not really sure but that's the thing each of these platforms has different strategies right if I look at TikTok uh no sorry Twitter <coughs> and look at my posts I have on here um I'm not getting a lot of engagement there's a place where you can see your engagement right your top tweets your top things where is that it's been so long since I've been on here uh I think it's analytics 
analytics is that some place where I can go to <coughs> analytics right there if I go to analytics it shows me right here that my tweets and my tweet impressions everything's down right by 100 percent my followers is up by three <laughs> um but the thing is that that's because I'm not focusing on Twitter right if I look at uh what else if I look at my channel subscribers I mean my subscribers on on YouTube I'm not focusing on YouTube obviously but still I have you know 7.9 7 like almost 8,000 views in the last 28 days I've got 205 hours of watch time <coughs> 408 views on this video here right and I've got just a few views here six ten seven right but the thing is that again any any of these platforms that you choose that's what you got to choose you got to choose one platform to talk about focusing on one platform you got to learn about the platform and then learn how to grow that platform's audience your audience is going to be uh, no and that and that's the other thing so where like I said where should you grow your audience right one of the most important things is that you have to build a relationship with your audience now if you have an audience of 20,000 people I have a ton of people everywhere right it's really really hard <laughs> to build you know a relationship with those people right you can't build it with more than a few people at a time over you know let's say every single week you, you have a conversation with somebody uh of different people right you have maybe a conversation with 10 20 30 people every week you build those relationships over time and then when they and then you know you can do it by having conversations phone calls zoom meetings those kinds of things but the thing this the thing you have to remember is that people have a lot of other people to talk to they have a lot of other people to be looking at so whenever you're trying to build a relationship with them keep that in mind but <clears throat> well let's just uh, let's just kind of get into what really am I trying to talk about here your audience is the people that will buy your stuff right you can go to Facebook groups and post your links and talk about your stuff and you know just generally be spamming your stuff and getting a few people here and there out of a hundred or a thousand people that see your stuff you might get one or two that are interested right but and people say well it's, you know it's a numbers game I'm an affiliate I'm selling uh click funnels I'm selling uh this course from uh from from Tony Robbins I'm selling um <clears throat> you know whatever it is you're doing you're selling this other thing from somebody else else's stuff right you're selling that and you're just posting all those links in everywhere that you can find you post the links and you know what happens I because I've done it in the beginning I was I was sharing links from the some of the affiliate programs I'm in and I was sharing it all the time and you know what happens what happens is you get blocked the platform sees well it's not and the thing is that it's not the platform really it's kind of there they have they have things that they check but really what happens is people that are seeing your stuff will eventually say they don't want to see it they they they'll they'll flag you as a, a spam they'll so they'll report your content and then the platform takes actions and, and blocks you right blocks you from posting links blocks you from sending messages blocks you from you know different things right D different platforms have different rules but they all basically have the same way of doing things that's why marketers talk about your email list and the thing is with an email list you control who's in it but there's still you know you know like if I look at the the open rates I got 66 percent I sent this was just one of the uh, smaller lists I have but even this one here right I sent it to 365 people I got 74 to open it so 20 percent open rate that's really pretty good because anything about 12 or 15 percent is considered good but even then like I mean why did did only 20 percent of people open it you might be thinking well why your email wasn't good no that's not why your email did not get delivered the the platform that the delivery platform or the I guess the email um their email inbox service right whether it's gmail whether it's yahoo mail whether it's msn whether it whatever email 
platform they're on has filters they might not even show it to them they'll put it in their spam or things like that and it's all based on these metrics if you're not getting a lot of opens on your emails people will not even see your email that's why it's saying not open so there's all sorts of strategies around how to make sure that your emails get better open rates and what to do and things like that but for to be you know it, 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 there's a lot let's go back to where should an affiliate marketer build their audience when I talk about building an audience right when I'm talking about the different social media platforms an email list maybe you even have a blog like I have a blog obviously and you you might be seeing this in my blog that's the secret is not necessarily where because you can build it anywhere you choose where you want to build it you just focus on focus on one if you don't focus on one you're going to get so thin that you're not going to get traction and that's partly what happened to me uh because I I did I did talk about omnipresence posting everywhere and I I kind of still do that but I'm doing it a little less but so the thing is that the um the secret is not necessarily about where to post it but how do you get your target market to see your stuff so how do you get your target market so first you gotta know who your target market is that's really the most important thing is if you don't know your target market if you don't know who it is that you're trying to attract I mean you're not you're going to attract anybody like you know you got something to sell it's for everybody right and you're right let's say you have um let's say you have a piece of software you're selling and you're getting a commission on right and that piece of software is the best thing ever everybody needs it everybody should get it and you know what everybody could benefit from that software right that's the typical um you know process or thought process that happens as an affiliate marketer you have this product that you're selling and you're promoting because you're getting good commission on it and because it's a good product it gives good results right but the problem is that when you're if you're just if you just say this is for everybody you're not going to attract anybody so what you got to do is you got to focus on one particular target audience and they talk about it even being an, an avatar a specific avatar the reason why you do that is because it helps you to focus your message to that one person which is really you know a group of people that are like that person and then it's an audience that's like that right so for example you if you're gonna say I'm trying to attract a f like in my case okay I've got the software you've heard about the software click uh let's let me kind of show you here uh social program so it's well actually that's probably not the right the right page to show you let me show you this page instead active group users so basically it's it's a piece of software that lets you <coughs> that lets you grow your audience and the the secret of this software is that you choose where your target market is in it's a Facebook uh, extension uh, extension to use with Facebook and it's a piece of software that lets you know who is interested in your stuff that's actually active on Facebook so you know well you have to you have to decide who it is you're trying to attract like me with this software I'm trying to attract you know affiliate marketers so I'm doing a content and blog posts and things like that that affiliate marketers would be interested in right so I'm talking about where do you grow your audience right now in this in this episode right where do you grow your audience for affiliate marketers now it, this this is good for for uh, coaches and for health uh health uh, programs people that sell health programs people that that sell MLMs it doesn't really matter this is good for all those different people but I'm focusing on affiliate marketers because I I just chose that I chose the affiliate marketers as my target market so then what do I do I go in Facebook right I go and I search for affiliate marketing right just affiliate marketing whoops I should have probably put the whole word affiliate marketing okay affiliate marketing I go and I search for affiliate marketing then I go in in groups 
and I look at a groups that I could do you know low ticket in affiliate marketing um which 1000 people in there so maybe I should I should go in that so what I do okay here's the thing you go in the group in the group that you know your target market is in right I'm looking for affiliate marketing people people who are affiliate marketers so I'm going to go look in groups where affiliate marketers are so I'm going to go in here I'm going to start to engage on their stuff right I'm going to I'm going to like posts I'm going to comment on posts um <clears throat> this is like old posts right look 2020 so this group isn't very active but maybe yeah March 3rd this this group yeah this group hasn't been active for a while 2020 oh this is Aaron's group okay yeah uh, but anyways that's just that's the that's the point there's groups <clears throat> you got to find groups that are active but the thing is that right now right now I'm looking in in groups where my target markets are right <clears throat> and so when I look at that I find I can find people I can have conversation with them I can comment on their stuff I can I can you know go check them out go do that and that's where I build my audience if I'm choosing Facebook now if you choose other platforms if you choose LinkedIn there's also groups in LinkedIn if you choose uh, Twitter you can search for hashtags same thing with Instagram uh, TikTok as well so you can do these searches based on that even on on uh, obviously on YouTube you can do that the point is you can do all those things but like I said me right now who I'm targeting is affiliate marketers that are on Facebook because my tool is for Facebook I'm trying to you know sell my tool get people to use my tool and that's kind of how you start you got to start with building an audience where your target market is you got to find your target market and then you have to that was a fly <laughs> and then you have to um <clears throat> have conversations and building it now when I talk about this tool that I have it helps with that by making it easier to to find like right now I've got these groups right I got this group I got this group um 2500 posts right here 2500 posts it kind of tells me right here that there's these groups that have that posts at least I, that I haven't seen 1000 posts a day so this might be a, po a group that's really really active a lot of members in there and the idea is if I go to this one <coughs> there's uh there's posts in here I can like and engage I can look at the comments some of these people have these none of these have comments in them right so is there any comments no comments no comments no comments mm, I'm just trying to see if there's anybody there, there's no activity there's just people spamming stuff in here right so this group might not be the best group to go into uh if I go to another group let's just take a look at one of these groups this one here okay so this one here has I'm just trying to see no comments that's crazy look at these posts there's there's posts people just posting posting spam stuff and nobody's commenting nobody's uh engaging on their stuff okay so I'm just going to go back find another group that has actually some engagement on. let's take one of these ones uh, how about this one affiliate marketing success now this is is this Mark's group I have a friend that has a group um okay so this one see look this one has that's an announcement okay let's go look at the red, red, some of these new posts these are all viral things it's like people are posting these viral videos I'm just trying to show you right now okay so let's just say oh this is not uh, exactly what I'm trying to let's say affiliate marketing for beginners maybe this one there's still oh there there we go here's a post that has 47 comments in it so this post here do you want to make money online from affiliate marketing right so this post is a question people are answering of course yes 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 you know if I look at all these comments now I can actually go and go check these people success this is somebody spamming something I can actually go to this person's profile 
and I can go and see who what they're about and I can comment on their stuff and that that's how I grow my people that are interested in affiliate marketing this is a person who's interested in affiliate marketing <coughs> if I go to see that one here's another one uh here's another one these are just people talking about they're kind of spamming stuff right there's lots of people spamming stuff that's a lot this one and this one so I got four people in here that are interested in affiliate marketing so if I go see their posts I can see if they have anything if they're active they're not even active this has no posts this person has no posts. so you see how how long it's it's taking me to go find these people now I can see this one here has posted a few things this one here hasn't posted anything so none of these people have posted anything but it took me a while to go find the group and then go in there and that's that's what anyways that's what my tool does it helps you to not take not waste your time going through and figuring out whether people have uh, posted stuff or not but that's not the point the point is how do you find people how do you grow your audience where do you grow your audience to build your affiliate marketing or to to, to you know to grow your affiliate marketing so you got to find your audience who it is okay so let's say for example it's let's go in here let's do it as if it's if I'm trying to sell um I don't know if I'm trying to sell um, a course that has to do with uh I don't know um building build a build backyard backyard um skating rink let's see backyard skating rink I go to groups and backyard ice rinks there's all these people that have these backyard rinks these are all people beginner roller skating and online planning skating rink that's cool that's the lot of new requests Let's answer the three questions yeah so this does anyone heard of Ellie yeah, okay that was that these are posts here people talking about skating rinks so whoever whoever would be in this group right say I had a course that showed people how to build a skating rink in their backyard right say I I built a skating rink or maybe you're oh actually you're an affiliate so you're an affiliate and you're selling this course say I created a course and you were selling my course right on building a skating rink in the backyard well you would want to find people who are interested in building a skating rink so even though this is like like the kind of post right in here does anybody seem like I don't even know what what the devil is these posts in here have anything to do with skating rinks but the thing is that anybody who's in this group is interested in skating rinks at least the otherwise they wouldn't be in the group so at least you know that these people are people that might be interested in skating rinks right so this one here since you're in this group so I can go and look at I can go check that person out or I can go check any of the comments that are here there's 14 45 comments I can go check those people's profiles to go see if they're interested in my course but I you don't by the way you don't go to their profile send them a message saying hey I have a course on a skating rink that is not gonna work that's not gonna work because those people will just see you as a spammer you got to build a relationship first how do you build a relationship first you comment and engage on their stuff you show them that you're interested in them that you're interested in their stuff why are they posting on Facebook because they want people to see it they want people to comment on it they want people to like it react to it if you're that person who does that not for two seconds right it's it's a process you build your audience that way you get to know them you get to build a relationship with them and then that's kind of how it works so like say for example I put this I want to I want to find the people in this group that are interested in my stuff so if I go in here I don't know if this will work because I'm not in this group but let me just say that I go in here and I put this in here oh I, I'm not logged in let's uh let's put my real account actually it's uh, log in okay so I'm gonna log in in here 
and then I'm just going to put that group I'm going to delete this group and put this group in here okay so now I have the one group I can have multiple groups in here but I have the one group and I just uh, click on the start button what that'll do if it works when it so what it does is it opens up another window and navigates to the page where the groups are right and then it gives you a list of the the people that commented on posts so that you can then go to their profile I can go to this guy's profile this person's profile I can go check out their posts and engage on their stuff and that's one of the best ways to grow your audience because those are people that are interested in stuff that you have now like I said you don't go on their profile and comment whether you do it this way by navigating yourself and finding the posts or whether you do it by uh you know using a tool like the one I have there it's one or the other right the active group users uh, um, tool is uh, like I said is available here activegroupusers.com and you can get a free 14-day trial on it that's that's the best way for you to grow your audience then after you've done that you can go in here whoops I gotta log in first after you've uh, done the scan you end up with you end up with a list of profiles that have commented on stuff so you can just go to these profiles let's say I go to this profile here and I can see their posts I can go to their comments here I can actually see the post that they did or the comment they did in the group and they're right here right so that's kind of what the tool does it lets you it lets you save time by not having to go th navigate through the groups yourself then it gives you a list of who to go to but that's like I said that's where do you grow your audience if you're going to be doing on a Facebook you definitely need something like this but if you do it elsewhere it's the same process you gotta you gotta learn how to find the people that are interested in your stuff and that's you choose who you're going to go after you choose who you go after you make your content about about things that those people have problems about or they want solutions for or they want results for make your post your content about that you build that and then like I said that maybe your email list is definitely another super important thing to build you got to have an email list you can have a YouTube channel you don't have to have a YouTube well you probably do need a YouTube channel to actually post videos and share the videos but you don't necessarily need to focus on building your like me I'm not I'm not focused on building my channel right I just have the channel to post my videos to share in my YouTube to share on my blog but the other platforms I kind of focused on is I did focus a lot on Instagram that's how I got the 4,000 followers TikTok I did quite a bit to because I wanted to get the 1,000 to be able to do lives LinkedIn I did it I don't know years ago I built it to like 10,000 follower uh, connections and the, then I kept growing it but the reason I did it for LinkedIn is because I have a day job that requires um, well that that's kind of specialized so if I want to and I'm a contractor so if I need to change from one job to the next I need this really really helps me a lot and what else and on Facebook I guess just growing my growing my Facebook friends list right by just by growing over time I've had a Facebook account since 2008 and I've grown my friend list uh, to build an audience right so th this is all the places where you can build your audience but like I said when you're starting out focus on one platform focus on one avatar one audience person then build then after you've built and you've got results and you got lots of connections lots of conversations lots of people following you lots of people knowing what you're about then you can start to branch out and do it on other platforms right for me I started in 2015 so I've done lots of different things over the over the years and you can get there too but like I said where do you grow your audience you grow your audience where you know the platform the best and you attract the right people and that's also that's attraction marketing right how do you build the right audience by attracting them to you all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.